We know there are many choices in Internet radio and the staff and host of L.A. Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the Internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is L.A. Talk Live. We are more than just talk. Nigga just be on all the hoes sometimes. Nigga on every last one of these bitches. Nigga do everything with one bitch. I didn't even hear that. Oh, on, there we go. You been on. Damn. We on? We on. I can't hear myself. Yeah, you, I can hear you. Episode hear you? three. We are back. Sponsored by the lovely people at New Rules. New Rules Radio. Yep, and new rules. What else do we sell? Nuevas reglas. You said that correctly, El, El Providor. Si, senor. And we have Gio De Niro. Hola. And on the nefarious Nicholas Cage, and it's New Rules Radio, episode three. These niggas still on air. Hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Today's current events, we got a good friend, Robert Copeland. He's probably down with Donald Sterling, you know, New Hampshire. He said the N word in New Hampshire. White guy? Of course. 82? Robert Is that Copeland? The mayor? Police commissioner. Oh, police commissioner. Yeah, and then we got the cyborg internet troll who challenged the heavyweight championship. What? Well, you know how people be on the internet, how social media will get you fucked up. Yeah, yeah. And speaking of getting fucked up, we got. <laughs> There's a lot of victims out there. <laughs> straight from Brooklyn, son, what happened in the elevator of the lovely. Hotel and restaurant, the standard. Yeah. We enjoy. Shout out to the... The standard. They got the best fucking breakfast ever, 24-7. Seriously? I've been telling you about that shit. Yes, don't Is that where the fight happened? In New York, though. Oh, okay. My girl wants to go there. The standard? Yeah, she wants to go there. Downtown, 7th and Spring. <laughs> take the stairs. Tell them you know, hey. <laughs> take the stairs. Jay-Z, take the stairs. Jay-Z, y'all not to take the elevator. Take the stairs. Uh, then we got the question of the day. <laughs> we got some good stuff from the... 100 Things to Do in L.A. Before You Die. I've done a few things out of here. It's inter- interesting stories out of this shit. You've done things out of here. You've done I? things out of here. Yeah. Have I? I re- I'll have to go you ain't been in L.A. that long. Yeah. And we got some twerk passes to give out. Don't forget those. So we're going to take callers in. Whenever y'all call in, we're giving shit away. We don't know how to give shit away. New rules are giving away. Tell us how to give them away. Yeah. So Just, just call up here. Call up here. We'll up. figure out if you yeah, need we'll figure these something or not. Else. We're just going to figure out if you need them or not. So we're going to start off with this. Robert Copeland, 82 years old, police commissioner in New Hampshire. See, you know what I've noticed? Everybody in their 80s is racist. White, racist. You can't say that. I know, I some, know, I mean, I know some people. I, okay, I'll give you guys 60 40. 60 40? 60 40. 60 40. 60 40. 60, 60 racist, 40 not racist. In the 80s? In the 80s. 70, 80 and up. Cold part about it was he said, I'm not taking it back. He, not of course he ain't taking it back. He's a racist, bro. Talking about you taking it back. Of course, he ain't taking it back. You gonna take it back? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm gonna take it back. Oh, oh, I'm just right, right. calling numbers. Why? For when the, for them to call in. Not, oh, I'm not okay. calling Robert Cole. <laughs> I ain't mean to interrupt y'all. It's three. Hey, <laughs> call him. Yeah, I was gonna ask you what's the um what's the number for them to call in. Oh, it's three two three four seven three three one zero zero. Or they can email us at newrulesradio at gmail dot com. Hey, we Don't be awful. calling up on speakerphone. Yeah, call, please call us not on speakerphone. Please. Put your kids away too. We don't hear yeah. the kids in the background. Yeah, please, please. We ain't got candy to give away. I ain't giving away no damn candy. Cool. But back to Robert Copeland from so, New Hampshire. From New Hampshire, he said he's not taking it back. He said he said what he said. Uh, he had his little cane, his high ass shorts, and he was like, "Fuck it." He's probably miserable. Man. Oh, cold part about it. I saw a black girl from New Hampshire in there. I've never met a person from New Hampshire. Never. never. I don't think none of our listeners have ever met nobody. Call in if you're from New Hampshire. <laughs> we'll, we'll give you something. I want to meet you. Good we'll, luck. we'll fly you in from New Hampshire. I heard the hell out of that. Yeah. I don't know how we're going to fit that <laughs> in the budget, but we're going to go. But how does this guy become so relevant? Because he said. I mean, who put know. a camera in his face when he said the word? He's a um, police, shit he police commissioner. Of and Mike. he called Obama the president of the United States. <laughs> so 80, he's 80 years old. Technically, he's active. boss. <laughs> he's still actively working? Yeah. No, but it's like in Damn. Mayberry, New Hampshire, though. It's like Mayberry. It's like get population that nigga, 15. Get that nigga leave of absence, man. Give, 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 give leave of absence for give what? Give medical leave. He only got like six months left medical on this leave. earth. Medical leave. They suspended him for six months. Look I mean, six him. weeks. And he got six weeks left. I know he need help breathing. Nah, he cool. He has a little cane. He's walking around pretty good. Nah, he ain't in the field. <laughs> he ain't in the field. He ain't in the field. He in the field. He had his uniform on. Uh, and his finger pointed nigger. Just in case Obama wanted to step up. What's his name? Robert Copeland. Don't support that. 
<laughs> you gonna be one of the people boycott uh, uh, New Hampshire? He know Donald. I'm talking Donald, Donald Sterling, Sterling like I know him. He know Donald Sterling's back in the news though again. Yeah. Respectively. I don't know who this dude is. Maserati. Maserati. Maser- whatever. They asked him. You know how about do you this? Know? Yes, I do know about Speak this. Speak on this. They asked Maserati. He's a rapper. They asked him how him and black? Donald. Black? Yeah, black. Oh my God. That's amazing. They asked him. Donald need to stop talking Niggas to black people flies. on the phone. Niggas first of all. <laughs> that's the first thing he need to stop doing. Stop talk to, talk to, talk to black people on the phone. Because they record you. Every, everything is a track. He says he met him when he went in a little business in L.A. What kind of business <laughs> that a black person would be into that meet Donald Sterling? A business that provides girls for entertainment. <laughs> oh, oh, figures. They give you life for that. And, you know, you know he, he preferred, Donald, Donald preferred the light-skinned chicks. Donald preferred the light-skinned chicks. He didn't prefer the white chicks? Well, no, why? That's something he's used to. I don't know, maybe. It, I don't know. That's like, black folks, that's like Ooh. black folks and Kool-Aid. Used to Kool-Aid. When some Tang come around, like, oh, shit, Tang? That's like a new tang. shit. Hey, Tang was the shit. Oh, it's from like 91 to 93. Oh, no, we're not getting into it. Tang held it down. That's a whole different subject. Don't get back to it, Gio. Back to subject. Get back to subject. Man, Tang was nasty. But, um... Oh, okay. Back to your boy, though. I don't know. You told me to get it back in the camera. I guess I was off camera. <laughs> oh, yeah, but Donald oh, Sterling was saying, um. <laughs> that nigga guy, has brush out. Like, what the fuck is you talking about? Hey, you're trying to be close to you. You're my cousin. I love you, but damn, nigga. <laughs> but back to your boy, though. What are you what talking about? You nigga under pressure. <laughs> don't be under pressure, man. Let it go. This is the turn up episode, nigga. What's the turn up, nigga? <laughs> Donald Sterling <Tony, laughs> was talking shit again, you know, as he's been doing lately. You know, yeah. He was talking about Magic Johnson and shit. Again. I bet him and Magic was friends at one time. I don't think so. I think yeah. he, he, he hated him, hate him too much. He hated he him too hate much. Him too I think much, he hated yeah. him. Yeah. Magic was rolling with Donald Sterling when he was rolling with um Bus. Yeah. Bus? Yeah. Of course. Yeah, with Bus. yeah first, Bus was his boy. Bus was probably the reason why he got AIDS. Going in clubs I mean, shit. HIV. Oh, shit. Never, keep going, Gio. <laughs> I mean, he was, what, 19 when he got out of the Lakers? Yeah. yeah, back to Maserati. <laughs> it's Maserati nigga riding Maserati. in my Hyundai. <laughs> yeah, his, I mean, get this new shit. Like, it's coming out, I guess. He got a mix. Oh, obviously, <laughs> obviously he got a mixtape. I guess. I don't know. But I mean, how it's is much more about him? But that makes sense that Donald Sterling would become friends with a rapper because he's pimping. I figured that he got to gain some type of allegiance, yeah. man. Come on, man. He's doing bad. It's cold and fucking it's here. It's, it's good man. though. It's <laughs> cold. Like, cold. Man, I feel like man, my fucking nipple feel like an icicle. Where the like, fuck shit. did that come from? I'm, I'm shivering, nigga. I'm shivering. Like, <laughs> That's a part. This is this is the the birth of a disorganization. This is what we are. We are a disorganized organization. That's all right though. That's all right though. So how about this cyborg dude? Fuck this. What the social media? Yeah. Get you fucked up? So so he called him. He called him the N word too. The N word is popular all of a sudden. We should get N word shirt. N word is a very powerful word. If you, it, I guarantee you this. Don't, I don't recommend this. But if you choose to do this, go inside of a public room filled with people and yell out the word nigger. Watch how everything gets quiet. Just like that. Ah! I, gu- I guarantee you, shit get real quiet. Shit get real quiet. People start looking, start trying to point the finger, whispering. Like, did you just hear that? Did you hear him say that? He didn't say nigger, did he? Nigger is a very powerful word. Hey, That's but, why Quentin Tarantino uses it in every film. <laughs> every film. Every but film. the cold part about it was he, he's on the social media adding them in. One day, he turns into a fight. I think it was like over a year or so. It kept going over. Yeah, How long he was it? Said, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tape up your daughter. Like some shit like that. He went oh, that geez. far with it. Yeah, but and then, he said, homie, kids is innocent. He like, kids is innocent. He said, "Why well, I can meet you?" He told him, "You can meet me up here at my at my gym." And he met him too. Homie went up there. And I they, think he like a champion. He like a he got he a belt. He got he a belt. Black. He a champion. He got a belt. <laughs> that nigga got a belt. <laughs> he got a video. He rose up on that nigga. Oh, I was like, he, my apologies because I don't know, remember his name, but yeah, he got a belt. He's certified. That's horrible. <laughs> he put he fucked with the wrong nigga. That on that nigga. nigga. He, he put hands and feet on that nigga. nigga. That's all. He kept pulling them back. He told me get your hands off. I don't know you. That's crazy. He talking shit about my daughter. My daughter. Pada. Get your hands off me. I don't know you. Like the Jay Z and Salons thing. Nah, he was actually hitting. <laughs> he, he fought back. Yeah, he nah, like he back. actually got the guy out of the way. Like he was, <laughs> but that, that's a cold part. We can roll that in what earlier you, right what now. What you think would happen? Um, what? what? What you think Jay said to her? Jay Z said to her. Oh. It had to be something offensive because he was sitting there chill like you know what I'm saying, son. And then fuck this. And then she's the rumor is the rumor is that word on the street, word on the internet. 
is that Jay Z founder with Memphis Bleak? He was talking that, um, shit. Rachel That's Roy <laughs> or somebody Memphis was being Bleak really flirtish, flirtatious with Jay the whole night. Oh, Dame Dash ex wife. Yeah, man, she better than shout bite. out to. <laughs> but, but real talk, the Carters they got great damage control, man. Yeah, they, they, we as a really, family, yeah, they stay as a we family. got a personal problem we're dealing with as a family. Yeah. You know yeah. what that means? Keep that shit in house. Don't spill it over into the Dateline and but, oh Larry, God. you know that other shit. Hey, fire. <laughs> he carried it real well with the blocking and shit like that. And get hey. into the other car. Hey, Yo, <laughs> hey I, car. Hate, I hate to say it. Because I've seen Jay Nakovich. No. He's on the internet too. I saw that one too. <laughs> Ooh. Some, 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 old, some interviewer on the Rock the Mic tour. Just, oh, before that. I think it was the Rock Like Muffed up with his hand <laughs> closed. <laughs> yeah. They were play fighting. They yeah. were play fighting. Hey, but Nas was right when he called him a Tybo ho. So it's blocking he did. Yeah, he was very elusive. He never did. <laughs> he was very on. elusive. He can't throw footballs, can't dive in pools, can't shoot basketballs, can't throw baseballs. He never did. He went look. He, he know how to ride that. a bike. He know how to sell crack shit. How you know that? He didn't sell the means of the people making fun of Jay Z. I ain't know all that. Yeah, man. <laughs> Go online, CJ jump in the pool. <laughs> oh yeah, that's another thing too. Social media took that Jay. shit elsewhere. They had that nigga looking all open, like he had the face. He looked, he crying and shit. Yeah, that's why you don't want to be a celebrity. Jay Z throwing a football. Yeah, 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 throw Jay Z throwing a football. Hey, but it's, look, it's cold. But if he would have hit her, it'd have been over. Yeah, so, totally would have been over. I looked look at him them. different. Like, you know, that nigga different. It totally looked at him different. But they made Mimi's good. She like Ike. twelve. Mimi's what's his name is Junior. Who Mimi? But no, that not, not Mimi. She like twelve years since uh, Junior though. She grown though. She can't be hitting women. She spit on that nigga. Yeah, that's change very the subject, right? See, see, see I, I, okay, change? okay. This is the thing. Like women shouldn't women shouldn't hit men like men shouldn't hit women. So when yeah. when do you cross the line? Ever? Men should. Men should. Oh, I was burping. I wasn't trying to think I'm about saying. agreeing. <laughs> I was just burping. <laughs> get that cover. I was not agreeing. I just hey, had to burp. Men should though. Man, you should just walk away. Get in the car. Get in the cab. Hey, no. Oh, sometimes you, you could pinch her though. Like pinch. a nice pinch. You pinch a woman. You got to have a nice She's going to call the police and show that. For a pinch? She's going to show that. How about an Indian burn? She's going to show all that, brother. Well, fuck it That's going to be in court. <laughs> he can't throw. I just saw a picture of Jay-Z trying to throw a football. He can't throw a football? <laughs> he, he look kind of gay. <laughs> he look kind of gay. He's not oh, athletic. Shit. He's not <laughs> athletic. Very lyrical. Hey, no, hey, very lyrical. Ain't nothing wrong with not being athletic. I feel jiggy. I ain't never played no sports in I my know. life. How you 6'3"? Can't dunk. You ain't want to mention my weight. 219. Yeah, I ain't. <laughs> no, but man. you can't dunk. I, I can't that. dunk. Please. Give me a donut and some milk. I dunk the fuck out of the Treat my legs and dunk. I don't play sports. Behind the back. <laughs> be all right, though. Be all right. I can't rap either. That's just all fucked up. I could, nah. I could rap. I and everybody can't rap. Everybody cannot rap. So all you people sending in your demos and all, man demos? I, I ain't you? heard nothing don't want to hear nothing. Go on, listen don't. to some shit hey shit fuck it send demos no, no rules radio at gmail.com but make sure make sure 10 of your homies like it no <laughs> before it gives to us hey, no no don't make sure shit this no no link our link to our paypal account and we will sponsor your mixtape on the show <laughs> like noriega say i did a feature for anybody as long as they had the money pana oh so <laughs> you would work you would work for a racist boss Huh? You would work for a racist boss, knowingly racist boss, if he paid you what you what you wanted to be paid. If he ain't gonna pay me, he gonna pay somebody else. I'm getting that bread. True. <laughs> now it's warming up in here. I'm turning up. You niggas, boy, you should be ashamed of yourself. Shit, I ain't gonna let another nigga watch your get slavery paid over ancestors is turned over in their grave right now. They were probably are. The same shit. They had no choice. People got a speech. People got a voice. Oh man. shit! How do you get on Jay Z to slavery that fast? We back on Jay Z now. He's talking about <laughs> slavery and massive. Damn it! Damn it! I don't like Jay Z no more though. Why not? He didn't hit her back though. I ain't even talking about that. I just ain't a fan of him. You don't like his music no more? No, I'm just not a fan of him. What do you do? I wrong? can't even remember the last album he just put out. Magna Carta. I know it came out, you but like it's that? like fuck I can't. Fuck with me, you know I got yeah. it. Picasso, baby. It was good promotion. For Samsung. Yeah. Oh yeah, for <laughs> Samsung. They had a commercial in the finals like ten minutes long. Be like, damn. That nigga can sell anything. You don't give a fuck. Do a good damn job hustle. though. Do a good damn Can't knock the hustle. Can't Watch the hustle. Sub defense tape's coming up, nigga. He blocked the <laughs> fuck out of her. The girls attacking you. What do you do, son? Nah, you know he, what I mean, son? He'd be alright though. He five percent or two now. You know that. See that change. That's he why he don't he, know that. That's why he didn't hit her. He that's a good excuse. <laughs> Listeners, he ain't part, God he body, not, son. Yeah, he's not part of the five percent nation. It's not happening. <laughs> it's not at all. I don't know. <laughs> he's not cut like that. It's not happening. Nah. Any rappers get beat up this week? Did they? I don't know. I haven't watched World Star lately. 
Roy Star is great for the comments. Stop promoting them. You ain't promoting them. I don't care about them niggas. <laughs> I'm fucking with them. I don't care. What are they gonna do? Sue us? Oh, no. In order to sue us, you gotta know us. In order to know us, we be not to sue us. <laughs> so it don't matter. All publicity is good publicity. Exactly. Because my lawyer celebrates a few holidays I don't know about. So I'm not worried about that. You'll be alright though. You'll be alright though. You, you got some go, cards in your hand? Yeah, you wanna go to question of the day? Question of the day, let's go. Question of the day. This question came about over came from this week's episode of Love and Hip Hop. Yes, I am a thirty three year old black man who watches Love and Hip Hop. It's like it's kinda like it's turning into like a a, a bonding thing between me and my girl. It works though. It really works though. But this question came from that, right? <laughs> Have any of our listeners ever bought a home DNA testing kit? That you can buy at the Walgreens. C V S. Any place else? I don't know. Where else can you buy it from? I never knew I you could do it. I've around. seen it. My sister told me about it. How much is it? Like under $100. Damn. It's like a mouth swab. Babysit one day and be like, all right, come see. But you got to be a cold see? nigga. I mean, no, I don't know. I don't know. Every situation is You do got to be a cold nigga. You got to be a cold nigga. Hey, disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to I'm asshole y'all. That is... Good thing. I'm tired of this shit. Get the yeah. test. Get the test. test. Like, no, nah, I mean, but if, why, if it's in question like that and you feel as though you're dealing with somebody you got questions about. Thank you. Or both y'all go down there. Don't go down you by yourself. Think that that's a plan. <laughs> a plan practice. <laughs> you know, 95% of yes. the time. Ain't yes. Yes. No look look what it is. For real talk, you went there during the whole pregnancy. No. But you're not? Like, you were like, Some hey, the baby can come out and I look like you. Some your mom think. getting your ears it ain't your baby. Oh yeah, that's how. None of my kids look like me, but they resemble me. They look like their mom. I'm just saying, though. The daughter look that's like your grandma, like your mama though. <laughs> daughter look like your mama. That's yours. Hey, I got something to add to this. I'm, I'm. You gotta, you gotta. Hey, you gotta, hey, hey Liz here. It. This nigga came to the show. <laughs> yeah, here you know, CP go ahead, time. Oh, I'm summer. about to hop off here <laughs> in one second, but my homeboy. Took his kid to a trip to Chuck E. Cheese. On the way to Chuck E. Cheese, <laughs> <laughs> he got the little DNA test. What? But there's a thing though. His kid was like five years old at this time. Damn, it's too late. You have already <laughs> invested. It's, it's too late, late, bro. He yours. Cut he wanted a reason <laughs> to bounce. So That's he was like, man, I hope this kid ain't mine so I can leave. That's horrible. Yes, it is. <laughs> Was he? Was he? Did he? Was it his? Was it his? Mari. It was yeah. his. Oh, oh thank hey, God! Oh, thank God! Because I would hate to hear the story if it wasn't. <laughs> Dude, Dude, bro, I would hate to hear the story. It would have been long nights for that five-year-old child. When this guy told me this, trust me, hey, but I Chuck, couldn't believe at it. At Chuck E. Cheese, also, he had a great time out with the kids. I did. I had a great time. Say ah. What? Uh, kid mouth, <laughs> kid mouth dry for the whole day. Drink some water, boy. Drink some water, boy. That's horrible. Don't tell mommy I put a Q-tip in your mouth. <laughs> hey, but shout out to Kurt. Kurt did that. He inspired this this question. Kurt did that. Kurt did that, man. Loving hip hop. Kurt. Shout out to Rashida. I ain't never heard nothing Rashida put out. I didn't even know she was an artist. You haven't? Hell no. She used to fuck with Pastor Troy back in the day and stuff. What the hell did that mean? Pastor Troy really was hard. Pastor Shout out to Pastor Troy, though. I thought it was second. Yeah, business. Rashida sure. was like the female version of Pastor Troy. She what used to hell? come with hard hitting, ghetto ass, ignorant Harder ass. Harder than Trina? Hell, hell yeah. yeah. Whoa. Oh, whoa, no, whoa, oh, no, whoa, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. I mean, I'm saying that because I don't like Trina. Everybody's harder than Trina. Trina was hard. No, she wasn't. You don't Trina know that ass. That song was nasty. <laughs> that was a, I couldn't, I mean, I could repeat that song and, and you don't know that. You can't repeat the words she's saying. You don't but know She made nan. the song. Without Tr- it wouldn't be no song without that was, them. Nah, that's Trick por- made that song. You don't Come know nigga. You don't know nan nigga. Busting your house AK 47, put all up in your mouth. Like, Trick Daddy scared the fuck out of me. Turn you and your moms out. You know that. Trick Daddy. Shout out Dade right County. Now. Dade County. You from Dade County. You know the I, saddest thing? What? Bitches love that song too. Hey. Yeah, that nigga talking about putting a gun in my mouth. I yeah. love him. Man, why do girls like the most raunchiest ass music? Too Call. short. Yeah. Th- these hoes Sugar ain't loyal. Free. These hoes ain't loyal. Sugar free. Oh. If a girl like Sugar Free, I'm questioning you. Like, damn. They, like, they requested you tripping on they requ- you you went to a sugar free concert you went to a sugar free concert damn, can we not speak of concerts how many people was it how many ratio like girls is that what it- oh that's the excuse <laughs> what that's the excuse girls to be like a girls. that's the excuse to be a hoe. so they do the same they they have the same mentality i don't you know, like to hang around girls i just hang around guys i heard the hell out of that 
I ain't never heard of girls that hang around girls. Don't like girls. No. If, if, girl, girls hang around if girls a girl has like more girls. guy friends than me, then something's wrong. Because I only got like maybe six dude friends, and, they, and like three of them are here. If she got like, oh, my homie, this is my homie, that, like, like, damn. I'm the exactly. same best friend. You got, a, you got a gang of fucking homies. And only dudes call your phone. Come on, man. Oh, no. Oh, What's wrong hey, with that? Hey, cool. hey, or she, she in the friends. gang. Or she in the gang. Or she in the gang. What's wrong with Don't friends. gang members. I'm just saying, best friends. <laughs> hey, no, some girl gang members, I give a chance to. That aggressive woman and within pick the same 20 minutes. You gonna give them a chance that they say, pick me up. Nigga, where you at, nigga? Yeah. Like, whoa. Come pick me up in my house. Don't mind them. <laughs> Don't mind them. Who's that? That's my little brother. That's my cousin. Tiny local. Like, yeah. whoa. That's shit right? You ain't up? never seen a gun? Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't never seen a gun. <laughs> if a girl touches that, on, it's, I'm automatically, you know I think that's kind of over. Don't date gang members. <laughs> okay, bro. It's just it's an evil lifestyle. You don't, don't date no gang. She's like, you ever seen a gun before? Yeah. Like, nah. What you was that like, cube, song, cube song back in the oh, day? Oh, Once Upon a Time in the Project. Yeah, Once Upon a Time in the Project. Yeah. had to wreck a hoe. And be very careful if you date a girl in the project. Be, no, be beyond careful. careful. Meet her somewhere else. Damn. Pick her up at the corner. Damn. Don't go too deep in a project you don't know about and be trying to follow the ice cream in, truck. I was in the Pueblos by accident, before. bro. Play exit. No. I was no. in the Pueblos by accident. There's no accident using the Pueblo. The Pueblo is too far east to make anything yeah, accident. Shout out to Stutterbox, but I was in the Pueblos by accident. Oh. <laughs> Real talk, man. I had to meet that nigga. I could. He, te- he kept telling me off of Compton Avenue. I'm like Compton Avenue. Yeah, Compton Avenue, like, Long Beach Avenue. Yeah, I'm that's like, over Compton, there. Why, why don't I mean you over there? He's like Compton Avenue. So I'm like, I said, man, this is buildings. You want me to go in there? He said, like, yeah. <laughs> he lived in the middle. He didn't live on the end. <laughs> he lived in the middle of the project. So I was like, man. See, that's so one shout thing. Out to, shout out to Stutterbox. That's man. one thing that wasn't in the book either. <laughs> what? I think it's doing LA before you die. Go to the project. Don't go to the project. That's they had to watch If you pay there. taxes, yep, they don't the, go to the project. That's the cold part about it. They did have in there. I didn't expect it to have in there. I've never been to the watch. I've been to the watch. We got to go one day. Why? This book is 100 Things to Do in LA Before You Die by Kerry Kim. That was just shameless free promotion. Come on the show, Kerry. Talk about your book because I got some things I want to add to it too. I work what? with a kind of diverse crew, and trust me, it's quite a few people with a fairer skin tone. And they asked me about the Watts Towers quite quite often. Yeah. I went as a kid. I don't remember going, but I remember going. Why is it so those... famous? I don't even know the the meaning behind mm-hmm. the Watts Towers. Do you want to know? Yes, I really do. I, I think our listeners don't even know. I can make a, something up real quick. It was no. his old Italian dude <laughs> that owned some property on like 109th, 110th, and I think it was Compton Ave. And he just started building these towers out of trash. And he built three towers out of trash. Over years. What year was That's that? That's the story. Are it was in the serious? 60s. After the rise or before the rise? I'm or, not for sure. Or did it stand? I, I think that's the only thing that stood during the... Well, they didn't burn that much stuff in Watts as far as the houses. Nah, remember the the the, the, the riots in the 60s. It, they burnt shit. They burnt yeah, shit they up. Burnt but shit. it was different from the riots in, in the, the 90s. 90s. Very different. <laughs> <laughs> Two completely different situations. <laughs> What's the difference? April 29th, 1992. Where were you at? Well, the story behind the first rot- Watts riots, it was a, a police officer that was probably a little rough with this one black dude and the community didn't like it. it the spook hunters. That well, no, it, it, it's a lot more in depth than that. It, it came out later on that that dude was wrong for what he did. And he came out and said, like, yeah, I was wrong, the black dude. He came out and said, I'm, I was he wrong. Put a tin I'm, on it. I'm, I was drunk and like, hey, they did what they had to do. But the police in the community at the time was real aggressive with people of color. And that's good old days of Chief Parker and LAPD. And, oh, good and old Chief, Chief Parker. Yeah, and Chief Parker, it was, he led to the destruction of Central Avenue, yeah. which was the Black Harlem of the West for the most part. Wow. I didn't so. Know that. So, yeah, it's a lot of history behind the riots. Wow. He thought burning this bitch down for nothing. <laughs> Shit, I know a lot of people that had got a lot of video games and a lot of new furniture in April of 1990s. I can't lie about that. I was with my grandma in 1992. You was out right? here? No, nah, I was with my grandma. She told they me to sit my ass right there They burned down that. the damn dairy by the house. Every morning before school, I go there and get my damn chocolate milk. Nah, that's motherfuckers burnt my shit down. I lived on 108th and Broadway. <laughs> One thing I remember, the streets was completely silent, still. Damn. I was, I was on the little catwalk of my apartment building, well, and this yeah. base head was running up the street. <laughs> Alex said base head. Yeah, it was a base head. <laughs> Only a base head to do something like this. Running up the street with a shopping cart, had a cash register in it. 
Damn. And that was the only thing moving. Was this bass head running up the street with a cast ready. That's what you do the rise was on. Yep. Alright, for sure. For sure. <laughs> that's what you know shit's about. Shit's cracked off. Shit's cracking. We see, we see these stolen in a shopping cart. That's when shit's cracking off. You hear about the beef with him? Dirk and Tiger. Tiger? Yeah. I heard both songs. Start? What they say it started from a line of song. Dirk didn't change it. And Tiger came he said something disc- about China. Yeah, somebody's girl. Oh. He said something sensitive, about his girl. Sensitive rappers. But he I mean, is the last person to talk about anybody, baby mama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with dirt baby mama, man? She bared two kids for her. What's wrong with dirt baby mama? I got something to say. Oh, yeah. And you from Shot Town too, man. They gonna come drill you. Yeah, man, they gonna yeah. drill you, dog. You, you still gotta go home, Why? you know. <laughs> They gotta go home. What? Hey, watch. He, he gonna fly home. Gonna be a bunch of tight pants wearing niggas with dreads over their face. Bang, bang. Hey, bang. Bang, bang. With the L's up. Drill, drill, <laughs> drill, 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 drill. Y'all what's can wrong? Google. What's wrong with his baby mama? You can answer the question. <laughs> Time to send on Google. Beauty Idaho. Hold on, I guess. But um, speaking of beauty. <laughs> <laughs> shameless promotion. Shameless. We got the like, next twerk out. Shameless promotion time. How they gonna win one, Jill? How they gonna win one? You call in and email. Yes. What they gonna email, Jill? Make something up real quick. Make something up. New rules at gmail.com. Incorrect. New rules radio at gmail.com. New rules radio at gmail.com. Who who is Lexi Pantera? Who the hell is that? That's the instructor. That's the, the instructor of the class. You caught me off guard. I was like the other. You didn't even know what the hell Lex was. Twerk out. <laughs> name off Lex you Lex talk to the Twerk out. out. Lex. I didn't know. I didn't put, I'm sorry. I put two together. Check, Check it out on so Instagram together. at Twerk out. Check out Instagram at Twerk so, out. I think we're out of gift certificates. Man, at the at the break, we're gonna do something. Let's roll on the break, guys. And we're gonna go on the break. We're gonna roll on the break, guys. New rules ready up. New rules ready. We're back with more shameless self promotion of shit. We have no idea what we're selling. Now, now, now. Hello, 
I'm Joel Ramirez. And I'm Lolita Robinson Coppage, and welcome to Joy in My House on LATalkLive.com. Inspirational radio with a touch of recovery. A reality show where nothing is left unsaid and no one is insignificant who says it. Exclusively on LATalkLive.com. You can also catch us on iTunes Radio RB or watch us on Ustream TV. Reality Radio handcrafted for your listening pleasure. This is LA Talk Live and we are more than just talk. Hi, this is John McClure Jr., a.k.a. Simply John, and I would like to invite you to join us on GospelRhythms.com every Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our show, GospelRhythms.com, Talk Live Radio. Join us as we celebrate Christians around the world in all genres of entertainment, as well as highlight interest stories on men and women who are making a difference and impacting their community. So don't forget to tune in to GospelRhythms.com on L.A. Talk Live. And we're more than just talk. Remember, it's a heaven's party here on earth. So live life. Love God. What's up, world? This is Nicholas Cage inviting you to join us every Sunday, 7 p.m. Pacific time for New Rules Radio. Join us as we lend our social satire to the week's leading topics, including music, fashion and politics so don't forget to tune in to new rules radio 7 p.m pacific time exclusively on latalklive.com you can also catch us on itunes radio r&b radio flag tune in radio live 365 aha radio tivo radio and apple tv radio or just watch and listen directly at latalklive.com reality radio handcrafted for your listening and viewing pleasure this is la talk live and we are more than just talk Oh wow, shout out to Gooch <laughs> And Thugger Thugger yeah. Abso Welcome to the New Rules Radio Abso finally got a re- uh, release date For that Black Lip Hippie No, it's what is it? It's, um, I think, damn, I forgot the name now. They haven't released oh, the name so of the after album After days, yet. it's something Well, shout out to Carson Niggas still keeping it moving. Delamo. I don't think he, he from Delamo. He is from Delamo. Yeah. Well, I fucks with Top Dog. Put that part there on Instagram. He said since y'all want since y'all want to pick the nigga album date, pick the album date. He gave June. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Business move. Smart business move. Though. Smart Man. business move on Top Dog Entertainment. Smart. TD does no mixtapes. Yeah. Hey, because the nigga would have started releasing them. Man, what niggas got to eat. Niggas got to perform. Niggas got to tour. Man. This fork and knife conversation to be held. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't mad at though. Big ups to Bab Soto. Yeah. You get you niggas excited or no? Uh, I ain't excited. I mean, after the break, I just got kind of down. Fuck that album. I don't care if it come out or not, to be honest. Damn, I'm <laughs> excited for the album, at least. <laughs> it's, it's a excited. black lit pastor. I mean, it should have came out. He should have been came Scoop out. Scoop Your album just came out. He's had Control System too. His album came out too. His album is shit. Isaiah it Rashad album out. just came out too. But the Absol- 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 album should have been came out. Nah, it, 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 it should have came out to the second mixtape he put out. Nah. When, did, when did it come out after that? He, he had an album come out after that. That control system. Yeah, part two. It should have came out after no, that. No, it was no. What's it? What's it called? Not control system. The mixtape with Danny Brown on there. That's control system. That's control yeah. system. It, it I'm thinking long term one and two. Oh, oh you're right. Long term right, one and two. Right, they had control right, system. Then right. the flow albums came out. Well, I ain't part of a fucking marketing department or promotion department, so I don't know nothing. Yeah, so what we got next? Gucci. Right. Gooch! Man. Gooch! I wish it was 1017 so we could bow our heads and say, Burr! Because <laughs> Gucci, man, is not only writing the book, but he ain't got double-digit years, my nigga! How much time he get? Nah, he get out 2016. How much? 2016. Yeah, he get out two, two years. Two yeah. Yep. Four felon with a gun. Yeah, the and it was Gucci, man, at that. And Gucci, man, got a lot of felonies. Yeah, yeah. He's a murderer. He does not deny that. <laughs> he does not deny <laughs> he that. Promotes that. Yeah. But I guarantee you, them niggas ain't gonna be talking crazy during his last months coming home. Trust no, me. No, during that last year, it ain't, it's not it's gonna happening. Be quiet. It's not happening. They gonna apologize. Talking about the big ups. Uh, coach. No one shall speak of his name. Cause, <laughs> cause, come 2015, it's I not see, happening. I seen Young Jock on an interview talking about Young Jock and loving hip hop. Young Jock, With an old chick. Oh, she like oh, what's her boy, name? Carly, Carly Ray. Benzino's oh. old chick. 
Oh, hey, do you know what Benzino, Benzino looks like? Google this one. The guy from um, what's that movie with Fred Savage, The Monster, Little Monsters? Oh, the God. head dude who handled that. <laughs> That's what Benzino look like. <laughs> you crazy? <laughs> Leave Benzino alone, man. I don't care, man. Hold up, what's up with Chris Brown, man? Your boy. Chris Brown has entered into the crime family of Bageness. <laughs> Fucking infamous DeBarges, Hell, James, Chico, and the first lady Bunny. Who? Bunny DeBarge was his sister. I don't remember that bitch. She's I remember. I remember Chico and don't Ed. Bunny come up and see you. You're right. Take that back, no, Bunny. All them were smokers. So it doesn't matter. What are they gonna do? So. I mean, I two so. of them are. Two of them are. Chico. Three. James is in the prison with Chris Brown. They sing on the tier. They pass it in the rhythm on the tier. <laughs> hey, eating all the spray. It was a bad. It was a bad group though. Man. Them yeah. the Jets. Jets was like Hawaiian. Man. The, the like Jets Hawaiian was Samoan or Samoan. Dude. I have no idea who y'all talking. The Jets. Jets. You know the Jets. Nah. The barges. You know what the barges are. Everyone knows the barges. Yeah, I yeah, know. You cold, man. Hey, I can't lie. As a kid, my hair was kind of the barges, but I was never light skinned though. <laughs> never <laughs> that. Never that, huh? You got a curl. Oh yes, I did have a curl. My mom did my curl. My mom did my uncle curl. He was and they born with good sweet. hair, nigga. He was born good. Hair. I know. I can't lie. This shit might be swerving off a little bit, but you made we, me think of this shit. When do we matter? When do we mind swerving off the subject? The saddest shit I see daily is niggas walking around with goddamn. Damn, wave cap song. I'm. I you don't sound, know. Just you sound bitter because I am. Yeah, you know, have... like shit. I'm giving you're a taking fuck. it personal. You take it real personal. <laughs> you're taking it personal. I'm bald. It's shit, okay, oh well. man. It's okay. Sometimes you gotta let it go. I let it go a long <laughs> time ago. Who in this room still wear a wave cap? Yo, that nigga was. <laughs> hey, it's obvious. The nigga has a brush right there. He it's wasn't even still cap. stuck in the '80s, nigga. <laughs> Okay, do you, no, nobody wear no goddamn wave cap no more. Hey, okay, okay, do you wait? Do you wear that shit? I haven't, worn, I haven't worn wave cap in like months. Okay, good. Okay, cool. How many months? <laughs> you wait the call. How many <laughs> months? You gonna leave I mean, that okay, okay. One I mean, one. I mean, <laughs> it, it, ain't nothing wrong with it. Hey, did you have different color do rags? Not, oh no, no, not those growing <laughs> up. Hey, yeah. the halfway split got red and blue on one side. Red and black. You wore that shit with your outfit. That shit was oh my god. god. That was that was, that was a foul, brother. Why were do rags a fashion statement? Oh, hey, what oh, killed do rags is when white boys start wearing do rags. That just killed everything. Like, dude, you can't even get waves. The best white dude to ever it's wear like a do rags. I seen Timberlake. a white boy with waves. Justin Timberlake. He ain't had waves though. Who's sure a white boy did. with waves? Yeah, but it's, it's a sight. Those and everything. aren't waves. That's moose, nigga. It's a sight and everything, <laughs> nigga. You can moose that shit up. Hey, speaking of moose, when I was like seven. Zach Morris was like my idol. I tried oh, to man. moose. I tried to moose my hair, nigga. Ain't nobody. It didn't work at all. Time for that. It didn't work at all. Nobody got time for that. It didn't work. Speaking of weird niggas doing weird <laughs> shit. <laughs> Liz Khalifa, twenty eight grams, new mixtape coming out, man. What y'all think? Shit, I'll be coming with an ounce. No weed. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the bullshit. Hey, Wiz, are you listening? I know you're in L. A. Come down. I ain't give you the address, so. But you know, we'll find you. Did you just say new rules? Hashtag. We'll find you, nigga. Come get that ounce for that mixtape. That motherfucker look like you wear Uggs. So I, I don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, this, ain't, like, this ain't a bashing Wiz episode, man. Come it's on. not. Hey, but why you spell? look like you wear hey, Uggs. Why you spell no. Black Hollywood with two C's? Snoop influence. Is Wiz Khalifa Crippin? He, he may be affiliate of Twenties. He Long Beach be Snoop. From Long, from, that's, that's a long way from Long Beach. If you want to be like Snoop? You want that Snoop roll? Of what? Don't they game bang in Pittsburgh? They game bang. Really? They game bang in Sweden. One image. The whole image is Snoop Dogg. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't think Snoop gave him that image. What is Snoop about the Crip Godfather? I mean, Snoop ain't Snoop no more. Snoop, Snoop, Snoop. Lying. Nah, shit. Snoop back. <laughs> Snoop, 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 Snoop no. Lying. No. Snoop, Snoop, Snoop back. Trade a trade. Trade a hole. He's Snoop Dogg, nigga. <laughs> Snoop Dogg. <laughs> I know lying. What Fuck a- that dog. <laughs> Trady, huh? Trady gave me strikes back. <laughs> Cold hustling. Man. Hey, I can't even lie, man. I'm still a Trady fan. Trady official. Trady. Trady's official. <laughs> homie. Say, say, Trady, say. Hey, Trady, a real one. <laughs> hey, real talk. There's a lot of fake ass rappers out there, but oh, there's only a few that I, I, I speak on. Trady's, Trady's a real one. Shout out to Trady. Hope y'all niggas get your money right. Finally. <laughs> real talk. That's a bad way to congratulate him. Like, finally. <laughs> finally. <laughs> Well, what's up with Nick Young, man? Responding to Tyler about Ziggy's uh, who fake ass. Who's this? Who's this you speak of? Nick, Nick Young. Young. He used to play for the Lakers. Swaggy P. Yeah, Swaggy. I, don't know the, I mean, Iggy, oh, Iggy oh, husband. Oh, oh Tyler the credit. Yeah. Uh, how sports Negro. Said that, uh, <laughs> she, 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 do you know? 
She sm- she hey, stink? it's Tyler the Creator though. <laughs> what do you expect from Tyler the Creator? Different different cultures smell differently. What? I give Tyler that. He made me think of that. He didn't think that. It was other white um, ladies on the list. Who do you think Tyler the Creator surround himself with? Black folks. Yeah. yeah. So, she from Australia. She ain't the first one he smelt. She, she fine as hell though. Still I, I, I she will not say that. Fine. She's she got just a big old ass. And she can't fine. rap. I saw her within oh, inches. I actually had a little conversation Tyler said with she her. Stink. How close was she? That motherfucker smelled good as shit when I was near. Damn. Tyler hey, said she hey, got shots in her thump. <laughs> what the fuck is a thump? I don't know. That's what Tyler said. That's a neat thing young people are saying for ass. This ass? Tyler said he want real booty, feel me? Hey, so is her ass like real like does it look heavy real like part? From all the children. Is it? I could give a fuck. Fake ass, real ass, his ass. How did her ass look though? Was it gorgeous? Shit. That shit was lovely. Fuck. You, was you in a pervert Speaking moment? Of, like nah. A nah. Yeah. It was a quick stare. I didn't stare too long. I would have stared long as fuck. I can't even lie. I ain't gonna lie about that shit. Horrible. I, I don't give a shit. You didn't catch me. I mean, you won't catch me staring. I'm incognito. <laughs> The awkward moment where they look back at you. What I do you hate do? that shit. What do you, do? you walk and they look back and you look. <laughs> you horrible, bro. I remember one time I was walking down the street and this lady crossed oh, the street. Right, and right. I turned around, looked at her ass. She turned around, looked at me. So I turned, so I turned yeah, back, and kept I walking. Awkward. I went and then I turned like, back around again and she stopped and she looked at, me, she's looking at me. Like, what you looking at? What you think I'm looking at? So I turned around again. I'm like. Damn, I feel somebody looking at me still. Oh, lurking motherfucker. Lurking motherfucker. It's not the tips First of lurking. Ball. First ball. God yeah. damn. All we doing is trying to get fans, lurker fans. Mm-hmm. We're not giving y'all tips on lurking. It's nah. not lurking 101. Mm-hmm. Back to another subject on, on to more promising things. But Lex has a twerk out 101. $10. Damn. Gift certificate Price right it, here. Don't mention the fucking price, nigga. Oh, this is a gift certificate. How much is, just, how much is the, uh, the, sh- the the class? It's a gift certificate. This shit probably $30. We have, gift, we have a gift certificate. It says one for free class. Why you got missed the one price for? One per free class. <laughs> one per class, you know. So We spent we spent all the budget on weed. <laughs> New Rules <laughs> Radio all we gotta give away at gmail.com. We had a hat to give away, but the nigga put it on. He yeah. said, fuck it. Yeah, I need a hat. But back to uh, whack-ass rappers. Uh, what? <laughs> Mace. Mace is back. Hey, people forgot. Hey, Mace got caught. He, he got caught in Atlanta on Hawaiian that dude Boulevard. Ah, like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like. But speaking of Mace, though, man, he's prepping an upcoming album. Now we even. You believe this shit? Is it a gospel album? I don't know. He's, he's talking to guys like that. Like, know. what's going on with Mace I Murder? I don't know. I don't know. I don't he know. says he's one of the five rap acts on his own Mount Rushmore. You believe that shit? I thought there were only four people on Mount Rushmore. He, he, he said he wanted. Yeah. To, he said he wanted to five. Is it five? I thought oh, it was four. I ain't never four drove through the Rockies, nigga. Lincoln, Franklin, George. George. Everybody used to own slaves. Oh, put it that way. Franklin, Franklin wasn't a slaves. president. Yeah, but he but, on Mount Rushmore. Is he? On, is he on Mount Rushmore? Nah. nah. Anyway, oh, I'm just anyway. saying. I mean, Lincoln, George. People say dead presidents in my pocket and talking about honey. Is Roosevelt on there? Man, we ain't nah. worried about that. We ain't um, talking about that. Is Bush, all that. is Bush on there? Nah. Okay. Look at all that, man. Move, move talk about whack ass Mace again. Come on. Ma- whack ass Mace. Whack ass Mace, man. M A dollar sign E. Okay, Mace. Back in the nineties, he was on top. Okay, now he done fell off a little bit. Pastor Mason. Okay, Pastor Mason better. Okay, he's talking crap about how he's supposed to be on one of the five people on Mount Rap Mount Rushmore. I don't agree. Dude, At all. Here's his list: one Biggie, uh, two N.W.A. That's not a person. Three. <laughs> Nas. <laughs> okay, I agree with that. Four. <laughs> Jay Z. Who? <laughs> Wayne. <laughs> Man. <laughs> and five. I thought you were going to say 50. Five. It's a tie. It's nice. Between him and who? <laughs> nice. He him tied himself. Yes. Him and Puff. Him and Jay Z. He didn't put Puff on there. He didn't put Puff on there. Oh, hold on. Puff. He didn't put Puff on there. They had beef too. Hey, but he said he neck and neck with Ho. How the oh, fuck you tie yourself home. with Hov? Oh. At the three yeah, house. Mace, 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 he quit, man. He bowed out. Mace ran. Mace ran Harlem. He had Harlem. I just Harlem hope y'all bowed out. He ran out. from Harlem at certain points of time in his truth. life. A lot of yes. truth to that. That's a lot of truth to that. So it's a big difference between running Harlem and running from Harlem. I think I think Mace is kind of bitter because Eminem was was included on on Rap Mount Rushmore, and he's kind of offended. And he and he kind of offended. He kind of think he's supposed to be up there versus Eminem. I don't think so. I really don't at think. all. You think he was on par with Jay? Honestly, we thought. Mason, Mason, he's the same thing as Mount Rushmore. 
Man, fuck me. So I'm gonna be the first to say it. <laughs> next, <laughs> next, next, next one, man. Next, wait a <laughs> second. Who was a fat motherfucker that got shot out the cannon in that little fucking Harlem World little video shit that they did? Mino. That was Mino? That was Mino. Who dissed none him? Jay Z dissed that dude, none right? Had Talking career, about huh? your fat ass got shot out the, the cannon. cannon. Yeah. I shoot a cannon. Y'all fat niggas getting shot out of the cannons. <laughs> Some shit like that. that. Speaking of camera, y'all like his new. Song? Uh, dip shit. Yeah. I support that. Dip shit. That's some. I mean, I've been a Cameron fan for a minute. I like Cameron. I kind of awesome. fell off though. I kind of fell off with Cameron. I, he started. I used to get it in Ohio. That shit was. That was tight. That was. What means the world to you? That was tight. I've been fucking with Cam. Damn. When did I fall off with Cam? I feel. Like, I guess when his rap shit, when Nas started dissing him, because I was a heavy nah, Nas fan. That pool, we yeah. got caught in that kidney pool. Got the koofy off your head. Yeah, yeah, that shit. That was real disrespectful. How you call a nigga a koofy slapper? That was real disrespectful. I bet there's like the five percent is like, son, he wants like my koofy off, son. Straight up, son, I body, son. Like, know what I mean, son? Real god body, like, real god body. Like, catch him in the heart. I'm like, hey, yo, son, for real, son, my koofy son. So disrespectful. I'm Cam is so disrespectful. Hey, that's the Harlem though. He, he, the Harlem he talked about there. Mace too at the, around that time. Yeah, he, yes, he, he did. had a whole segment on YouTube about the day <laughs> crying in high school. He still talk about yeah, Mace. How he got <laughs> out, yeah, how he got ran out of Harlem and all types of stuff. It's, so shit, it's real personal. But who got ran out of Rucker though? Yeah. Hey. That he walked out of rock record. No, he did not. Nah. I oh, no, he did I mean, walk he out ran, Gio, over that fence. Like he, sound, he ran yeah. to the gate. It he walked like out. Holding on the camera. <laughs> no, 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 Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy got ran down the record. No, he, no. he pole vaulted. And no, Jimmy stayed. We saw Jimmy <laughs> and that Dream Mafia nigga, and that nigga put tips on him. He put the sweet ones on him real quick. <laughs> <laughs> but it is what it is. Everybody can't be thorough in all situations. Everybody get beat up. But, but, what do y'all think about G Dunn? Oh, oh G- is he home? Yes. Oh, oh, never. He ain't never That's coming home. So hey, he got the whole thing. Hey, Elbow. G- he meant to I was already like hey. fish and spaghetti. Real talk. Bad boys have Do some cold cool niggas signed to their roster. With Everybody bad boy, with some the, water. With the, yeah, with the Black Rob. Black Rob. He did I seven years for like robbery. Who else? Loon. Loon is forever. <laughs> G-Dep. G-Dep forever. Shine. He did like 11 years. Lost his whole rap. He left the Shout real shine here. In, 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 Puffy. Puffy's a devil. <laughs> <laughs> Puffy Somebody, know how to get the real ones. <laughs> Puffy got the real ones. Somebody doing something, right? Yeah, Puffy know how to get them A&R's at Bad Boy know how to get the real ones. Hey, A&R's in the hood straight up, son. Like <laughs> My A&R's are dope boys. Yeah, They probably <laughs> was. They probably really was. But Nas then, got new albums. Oh, perfect. Lost tapes, too. And, and Nas just made two good signings. The Mass Appeal label. Bodie James. Hold on, hold on. Mass Appeal is Mass, a label? Mass Appeal the magazine? Nas owns. It's a label. It is now. They, they created own a label something? too. Huh? They Nas created a label. Something? Nas owns something. How many people? Hello. How many people have their hands in Mass Appeal? Because I've just heard two rappers that I know. I mean, I'm, I've heard of one, but I already know of another one. Pusha T. Pusha T got his hands in Mass, no, Mass Appeal. He's no. an investor. He was in Mass Appeal. No, he's an investor. An actively investor. Who told you that? In Reddit. Oh, Reddit. Well, Nas told me. Well, Nas on the primary stake of it. His name's on the shit as boss. Yep. Boss. Boss son. Boss son. Okay. okay. And he let's signed. See, first two actually signed. Who? Bashan and Bodie James. There's also one more. 17 year old cat from New York named Bishop Nehru. Oh, the Brooklyn you dude. Him? You co signed this? Dude is nasty. Say his name again. Bishop Nehru. Google that. Google that. N-E-H-R-U. First name Bishop. Bring New York back. Google, that. Google, that. Name York back. Google Bodie do. James from Detroit. He bring a gangster rap back to Detroit. I like him. I like him over Gangsta Gibbs. I like Gangsta Gibbs. But I fuck with Bodie James. And Fat Sean's a West Coast Nas. That first album was like the West Coast Illmatic. Exactly. Wow. Boy Meets Which World. Boy Check Meets it World. Out. You can get it at Amoeba Records or Amazon.com. Who, what's the name of the artist? The fashion album is Boy Meets World. The name of the artist? Fat Sean. Fat Sean. Look. And he came up under evidence. A lot of the dilated cat. Come out of Fresno. Fresno. <laughs> I didn't know shit came out of Fresno. Cows and shit. Shit, Planet Asia. That's true. Wait, hold on. The nigga from... Uh, what, what group was playing in Asia? Was he part of like a crew? The Cali Agents? Yeah, the Cali Agents. Yeah, he got this shit called Gold Chain Military right now. Okay. Yep. okay. Him, no, Tri State, Kill a Cat. Yeah, what's name? Um, what's that shit? They got the Do Rag shit? Oh, uh, Do Rag Dynasty. Yeah, Do Rag. Them niggas wear Do Rags like a motherfucker. Yeah, uh-huh. but they old heads, though, so shit. They get a pass. Yeah, so it's, so it's a pass when Do Rag gotta be an old nigga? You see, in certain, certain rules, you see, an old nigga could wear a brute. There ain't no shit a nigga yeah. under 35 could wear. Yeah, that's brute. Please, please so don't shit. be wearing brute. 
If you ain't get Social Security, don't be wearing Brute. <laughs> <laughs> if you ain't got a pension, don't be wearing Brute. Please. Certain things you shouldn't do. Oh, man. You guys are. But anyway, man, we ain't getting no callers and we ain't give shit away. So, know we gonna do? We gonna get the shit away next week then. I ain't giving shit nothing away. <laughs> I'm giving shit away when Donald Sterling apologizes. That's well, you ain't, give, giving, well, you ain't giving shit away then. Right. That nigga ain't apologizing. That nigga ain't apologizing. Shit. Ain't gonna be this wheel on his headstone. He said, I still ain't sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I gave him clothes. I fed him. Well, he got divorced. You know? That don't matter. He man, ain't, that motherfucker. If ain't. I did a crime though, I want Shout Donald Sterling with me. The team. For what? Donald ain't gonna, he ain't gonna budge. Donald gonna get recorded talking. I know. He about did. Yeah, exactly. yeah, he Donald, yeah. Donald gonna get yeah, he caught up. He did. He did, he did, he did, he did it. it. I don't want him in my house because he did it. Um, you wanna know the fucked up shit is? What? Is this you on this tape recording with Donald? <laughs> Those motherfuckers is billionaires for a reason. They, they ain't stupid. Him and his wife, that's a plan. Trying to make that nigga look dumb. Trying to make it seem like he got dementia and all that shit. Now they getting a quote unquote divorce. So she could go ahead and try to soup up she that shit. She ain't gonna get it. Hey, she I know. Ain't gonna get it. She ain't gonna get shit. The NBA and NBA gonna give it to a black person just out of spite. I'm gonna be the no, first. No, they to are. Say it. I'll be the first to say it. They gonna give. It. He ain't gonna have all the money. He gonna be short too. Probably like <laughs> thirty million. <laughs> Moses is not no. Leon Jenkins. Who did they put in charge of the Clippers they and stuff? You a black true. dude. Yeah. No, they gonna get to a Puerto Rican dude. They gave the doc, didn't they? They ain't got doc in charge of it. The operations. Bill Cosby. Hey, Bill, no. Bill Cosby could buy the Clippers. Back for, uh, That'd be a well, good I'm move. Bill Cosby owning the Clippers. He old too. Bill Cosby might say some Donald Sterling type shit too. <laughs> <laughs> towards black people. Real Remember talk. Not towards white. Towards black people. <laughs> so shit. Man. Man. The other day, my white friends were sharing Dr. Bill Cosby quotes to each other. Bill, Co- Bill Cosby, nigga. Hey, oh, hey, Cosby. hey. I ain't got a problem with Bill, though. I because love I'm Bill Cosby. Look like this. I understand. It, okay. It, it, he, he, no, no, he don't speak. To, he, he he speaks half a truth. He half you a see, truth. he speaks half a truth. So he support that? I'm, I, support I put it, it like this. Responsibility needs to come into the black community more at the same time. You can't overlook all the other shit that led up to our present circumstances. So just to completely write off the past and write off the fucked up shit that the country has put black people through and just say well shit we fucked up because we can't have because we have kids and don't know our daddies yeah that's no bullshit excuse. no excuse i mean it's a, it's it's a it's a it's a handicap but there's no excuse yeah no no excuse so no shit because i, I got responsibility. a mother who raised me way better than any man that ever could thank god thank god i wish my father was around but he wasn't but thank god shouts out to my mom and she raised me better than any man ever could it's Always. unfortunate though it's unfortunate but yeah, but Bill, the reason why I have a problem with Bill, because he didn't understand the youth in the 80s and 90s. He didn't understand it. He like classified us. Like he saw, he I guess he saw something in, in Easy E, and he thought we was all dysfunctional. I don't understand it. Like I'm Easy E. Yeah, something. I don't understand that. I mean, he should have got to know the people in Philly. Where is he, didn't he go to Temple? Is yeah, he, he like alumni Temple. in Temple? So he's, he has real close ties to that community. I don't understand why he didn't go out there to. To like some, he probably did, but it, it wasn't shown to me. At and I that heard time. Temple in the hood too. Man, <laughs> Philly's a hard city. I heard Temple is in the heart of North Philly. <laughs> if you go two blocks east, west, north, or south, you fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Real talk. Real, Real talk. talk. Okay. So you. therefore, I don't understand how how his how his mentality was so distant when he gave them 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 uh comp them uh. Comments, comments little essays about, and man. shit. It was horrible. It was horrible, man. We needed more uplifting than downshifting. Downgrading. Yeah, downshifting. I say because that 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 caused young black kids to rebel towards that whole Cosby thing. I mean, that whole Dare program. We didn't want no part of that. We didn't. I didn't. And all my friends growing up didn't want no part of that because it wasn't helping us. It was teaching us how bad our older people was and how they couldn't get help and how to stay away from us. It didn't teach us rehabilitation for our older people who were going through that. It taught us. It taught us to stay away from that. You gotta help before but look, you can cure. So in, in order to cure, you have to help. The disconnect happened with the introduction of the Black Panthers. People were scared of young black, even older blacks were, were scared of young younger black dudes because they Shout were tired. Shout out to the Brown Berets too, Mexicans too. Exactly. Way, yeah. And they they were tired, and the disconnect happened then. And then with the introduce and with the introduction of drugs, to the extent that it was in the black communities. Yeah. And the amount of weapons and money people got from that. And lack of jobs, economic. Because it, a lot of people don't know in the 80s, in L.A., a lot of people, they work at the um, Firestone plant and stuff over there in Alameda. They shut that down. A lot of people in the community stopped having jobs. Oh. You feel me? And a lot of people started gravitating toward 
Like shit, I gotta yeah. feed my family. So yo, you, it was hard to get. Do. You're right. It was hard to get a longshoreman card and all that shit back then. It was it was either that or crack. And crack was run, running a hundred miles an hour in the eighties, man. Eighties and nineties and all that stuff. It was sad, man. It tore through the black community and Latino community so crazy. I never forget friends growing up. Like I was talking about this stuff earlier. Like eleven year olds with gold chains on and serving the whole house and got the whole house held hotches because they immature and the mama's addicted so addicted that she can't put her foot down in the household to lead her house the way they need to be and the father's locked up because he tried to go a, a, a suck ass route or the only route that he saw fit and got his ass incarcerated so now you got this function from the gate and then you got this young kid who's 11 who's who got the control of the house he about to have a baby at 13 damn you see what i mean see how this shit is like it's, it's, it's sick man it's, and it's going on today i mean we need i keep saying this over and over we need more at reach at, at risk programs we do we really do man we need we need that we need more like i wouldn't say big brother programs but we need male role models in the community because it's not it's not there it's not in the immediate house it's not in the kitchen yeah, that list you talked about earlier the other day. No, I don't, I don't want to talk about that right now. Can I say something? Next week. Can I say something, man? Yes, sir. I, I can feel like that. They had what they call PAL. Mm-hmm. You know, p- police athletic league. Yeah. Well, you know, you can go in there, you know, play basketball. They have now, things wh- for, for girls as well. Too. Why do they call that the police league? Because I never understood that. Like, police, well, as a young kid, I always, like, uh, yeah, we yeah, rebelled. Because the, because the police was the ones who organized it. They were the coaches. Oh, they and stuff. were the coaches? Yeah, they were the coaches and all that. So it wouldn't be no division in the community with authority. Yeah, exactly. As they say. Exactly. Authority. Okay. Exactly. Okay. okay, that's good. That's good. So, therefore, like, us growing up, Cops and robbers. The first person you wanted to be was the robber. Ain't nobody want to be no cop. <laughs> no one want to be no cop. See, nah, all, the robbers all, always all, get killed. They see, fuck that, that. And again, that always go into um, geographical. That's all. That's true. Because I ain't yeah. no cop. I ain't never seen no cop get no cat out of Never tree. wanted to be a cop. <laughs> I ain't never seen a cop get a cat to be out of the tree. <laughs> never have. I mean, there are good police out there. I really believe that. But I never met him. <laughs> I never met him. <laughs> yeah, never, I never, I my best friend, him, my my brother, uh-huh. my best friend, he a cop. So it, is it, he? But he might be a good person. But is he a good person on the beat? Yeah. Okay. He is. Cool. He, he's cool. just as good. I know but, there's some. There gotta be some out there. But the whole thing is, it. You hear about the police when they do bad shit. You feel me? It's just like with with any other group when when niggas is out in the street fucking up. That's when you hear about them. You you don't hear about when motherfuckers doing what they supposed to do. But I think with police though, where I get I get the messed up mentality towards them is that they don't prevent. You see, but that's they the thing. react. And it, that's because it is reactive. You feel me? You you can't really prevent it. And it especially at some point, people are lost. You <laughs> people are lost, and you you could try to catch them when they're young enough. But if they pass a certain age. They mentality, yo, and yeah. if they been in out of jail and locked up and they stay in that they stay in that lifestyle nine times out of ten. Have you ever seen a police department go out of business? Close down? Like that used to be a police department, but it's not a police department no more. Have the you one, ever seen that? Yeah. I've seen them move. There's a few of them out here like they that. They move? I've seen them move. See, mm-hmm. not, see this is them shut down. This is oh. the thing with LA too. LA have a real small police force. Extremely small compared to other big cities, compared to Chicago, New York. LA is minuscule. Yeah. Minuscule when it comes to the police force. But it's crazy. Like my first introduction to LA was like police brutality. I was pushed off my bike and everything. As a Dalai Lama. Damn, it's crazy, crazy. But welcome to LA. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> in LA. Hey, I, I knew how to keep my hands to my side. Did <laughs> <laughs> the law in front of you? Hey, Who's coming to LA? You get police brutality, hey. or you get banged on? <laughs> Either or. You gonna learn? You gonna learn what you LA gonna learn is. Today. You gonna learn today? Are those British nights you have on? Oh, Run yeah. Run <laughs> Or Jays in the wrong area. <laughs> Don't be wearing Jays in the wrong What's area. What's other shoes? Fucking K Swiss. Of- yeah, yeah you couldn't wear K Swiss. Yeah, you can't even say K Swiss. I don't even want to say what the acronym <laughs> exactly. stands for. You can't even Please say don't. I ain't even gonna put it out there Don't like even that. say that. We we'll have a lot of ignorant niggas DMing us. People be waiting outside. I ain't trying to deal with Getting that shit. Getting that's on Instagram. Hell, tough. <laughs> we, ain't got, <laughs> we ain't got security in the budget yet. No. So. <laughs> But next week, I want y'all to tune in, please. Please. We're going to get to this book, I guess. We're going to get to this book. What the hell is that book about? The 100 Things to Do in L.A. Before You Die. What's one of them? What's one of them? We're going to flip through. Like, see, we got... 
Uh, 107, kayak down the LA River. Not doing that. I don't know how that's possible. Man, that's I can't even LA breathe River. next to the LA River. That's another one. You gotta get another one. But like, see, like this one. <laughs> you gotta get another one. I ain't doing that. Oh, <laughs> be, right now. be a contestant on the game show. So next week, we're gonna do I'm a game show. I'm not standing in line. No, we're on the game show here next week. That's what we're gonna You said do. 100 things to do in LA. And we're doing one of them next week here. We're gonna make show? a game show. We're gonna make a game show. That's, that's what we're gonna it do. Says, like the pyramid? I don't give a shit. Jeopardy? I don't give a shit. This is my, this is my LA. What's the game show? We don't know yet. It could be like Hood Jeopardy or Nigganomics. We don't War- know what the fuck we're going to do. Just warning, listeners. Just warning. Just be prepared next week. <laughs> Please be prepared. Toes. Tune in. Bookmark the app now. Tell your, your mammy, your daddy, your uncles, your cousins, people you don't fucking like. Tell them to tune in. Yeah. We're going to have fun tomorrow. We're going to ask some questions like Hood Jeopardy. Like, Sean was a shit back then. Sean was a shit. Like, name one thing that makes you ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like... I got a grandma in her 30s. That's being ratchet, yeah. <laughs> a grandma in her 30s. If you got mason jars in your, in your cabinet for drinking, you might be ratchet. You might or, be ghetto. Or if you take home fast food restaurant oh, cups. And we're out, of, we're out of time, so let's be out of here. Uh, All right, great listen to y'all. Shout Nicholas out to Cage. Nene and my mom. Everybody else. Anybody out else? there watching. Yeah. Else? New Rules Radio. This... This nigga. Yo, rest in peace, Don Cornelius. I don't Fuck you, say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, because this has been a nice ride on the New Rules train. <laughs> I just want to do that ever on TV and it's live. And mama, oh, no. right, mama, I call Kids, you mama. I love y'all badasses. I bet y'all driving y'all mama crazy right now. Daddy on his way home. <clears throat> oh, it's been Hi, great. We out of here. Thank you for listening, man. Tune New in, Rules it is. Tune in next week. Catch on Instagram at Nicholas Cage at New Rules Radio. Yeah. Gio dot Danero. Yep. At New Rules Radio. Can't fuck with you, we rap niggas, with your gay raps Running around, talking this and talking that See me in the streets, try to give me that Andrew Cunan and ass niggas My two cannons, blast niggas, ass niggas Got me fucked up in the game Get your shirt stained, keep your five mics Nigga, give me the cane Do the shit to clean my money, dummies Gleam the wrist out, cop the piss out Nigga, talk shit